to Action News starts right now with breaking news. We do begin with breaking news. Congressman and former Florida Governor Charlie Chris just announced on Twitter that he is running for governor again. Good morning, Tampa Bay. I'm Dee Riley, And I'm James Tully. Chris has been an outspoken critic of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis' response to the pandemic. In a video Chris posted on his Twitter account, he touted some of his accomplishments as governor and as a representative in Congress, including environmental protections and help for small businesses during the pandemic. He also strongly criticized the vaccine rollout under Governor DeSantis and his refusal to expand Medicaid. Chris is set to speak before supporters this morning in St. Pete will have a crew there. You can watch Chris's announcement live at 11 a.m. on our streaming news channel, free on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV. Going in depth, looking at Chris's political background, he began his career as a Republican, serving as a state senator in 1993. He then won two statewide elections, becoming Florida Attorney General in 2003 and Florida's 44th governor four years after that. After an unsuccessful run for U.S. Senate, Chris switched parties and was elected to Congress as a Democrat in 2017. He is up for re-election next year. Now, Chris's announcement will come just 24 hours after Governor DeSantis signed an executive order immediately ending COVID-19 restrictions in Florida. And we begin our team coverage now with ABC Action News reporter Vanessa Ariza. She explains the frustrations that local leaders are expressing over that executive order. Congressman Charlie Chris says this executive order is a government overreach at its worst, and he is not the only one who feels that way. St. Pete Mayor Rick Kreisman says this move by Governor DeSantis puts more Floridians in danger. Yesterday, the governor signed the order that immediately stops COVID-19 restrictions with a bill that takes place July 1st. Now that said, private businesses, they can still hold on to mask mandates and social distancing measures. In that order, the governor also put a ban on vaccine passports. That's something he's been opposed to from the beginning. And schools will not have to mandate COVID-19 vaccinations. Kreisman says this is a recipe for repeat. We can all expect to see our hospitalizations increase. Uh, unfortunately, we'll probably see an increase in deaths, but I, you know, I guess that's not important. Tampa's mayor, Jen Castor, also weighing in, saying the best decisions are made by local authorities. While the new orders are interpreted, the Florida Department of Education clarified how it impacts schools. It says the orders only impact ordinances in place through emergency enactment and doesn't impact school district policies for the rest of the school year. In a press conference yesterday, Mayor Kreisman says you can expect to see a legal pushback when it comes to this executive order. In Tampa, Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.